Chapter 533, The Remains of the Voodoo Progenitor, the Evil God, and the Arrow God. The ores of the Ka Deng, and the woman Sen Yi called Ayu had only been exposed because the power of frost had suddenly invaded their bodies. Dense ores surrounded each of them. Powerful earth radiated from the sharp metal from Ka Deng, and gentle water from Ayu. The demon sealing tombstone had been hanging high above Jia Yu's head, searching for the ice spirit in order to seal it. Since the ice spirit had taken over Jia Yu's body, hijacking her soul, the demon sealing tombstone was confused. At this time, the aura of the earth, metal, and water spirits were clearly exposed. And the demon sealing tombstone suddenly had targets. The demon sealing tombstone that originally sought to seal the ice spirit immediately changed targets. It moved away from Jia Yu, turning its focus to the earth, metal, and water spirits. A terrifying change came over the Ka Deng, and Ayu. These three had been in different places, but at this time, they started moving. These three barbarians in the nether passage realm actually flew through the air, becoming gold, yellow, and white lights that shot toward the center of the frozen lake. The demon sealing tombstone followed behind them. Above the lake, the bloody bone dragon continued to howl mournfully. The body of the blood progenitor still sat atop its skull, giving off an intimidating ruby light. At this time, Qin Lai's group was approaching the frozen lake from one side. Yi Hao, Huang Zilai, Feng Yu, Yu Men, and Su Yan were on the side opposite to them. Since half of them had died, the eastern barbarians had scattered and were now fleeing in every direction. Crick. Crack. Jia Yu's eyes were an icy blue. She twisted her neck, and her joints resounded with satisfyingly crisp sounds. Jia Yu, whose soul had been taken over by the ice spirit, didn't so much as glance at the tribesmen around her. Once the demon sealing tombstone departed, she turned into an icy light and left for the frozen lake as well. Snap. Soon after Jia Yu left, the ice around Jia Yu exploded, and he calmly emerged from the resulting frost. The white barbarians around him were not so fortunate. Their souls had been frozen to death. Jia Yu silently headed in the direction Jia Yu had gone, a frown on his face. Dot. Look. Du Ziyang Yang shouted. Down at the bottom. The bottom of the lake. Feng Yi shouted as well. Look at the bottom. Having suppressed their earlier panic, the eastern barbarians gathered at another side of the lake. They had strange looks in their eyes as they peered into its depths. The surface of the frozen lake had completely shattered by this point. It seemed to have been the ceiling of another world. That ceiling had cracked, and now the land of buried gods that lay within the frozen lake was exposed. Below the cold white mist within the frozen lake, a desolate, endless plain came into view. Numerous vast, ancient palaces were strewn across the desolate plain. Some had already collapsed into ruin, leaving behind traces of a bygone era. The bodies of enormous beings could be seen among the clusters of ancient, ruined palaces. There were giants hundreds of meters tall and skeletal remains of huge, vicious monsters of old. One could even see smaller bodies flashing with attention-grabbing lights, clearly belonging to beings that possessed high levels of intelligence when they were alive. Long dried blood covered this desolate misty plain forming a bizarre pattern that seemed to contain numerous mysteries. Bodies belonging to warriors of varying races and ferocious beasts lay scattered throughout the plain, leaning against the crumbling walls of ruined palaces or half buried in the ground. All of them looked strange. Piled at the top of a tower of a specific palace, high up in the air, were eight enormous heads. The eyes of these heads glared at the demon sealing tombstone, shocking godly light emanating from them. The heads of the god corpses. Feng Yi shouted. Eight headless god corpses had broken through the wards in the depths of the land of chaos as major oceans. Their missing heads sat at the top of that tower. The heads of the eight god corpses resembled blazing suns that radiated blinding hot light. Dense power shot from the eyes of these heads, forming rays of light that shone on the demon sealing tombstone. Illuminated by these rays, the demon sealing tombstone gave off a terrifying, baleful presence. All of a sudden, Yi Hao saw the body of a man shrouded in pitch black light. It lay there silently as he examined it, and he couldn't help but shout, The progenitor. That's the body of the progenitor. The voodoo insects of him and Huang Zilai didn't bother waiting for orders, immediately flying into the air. The eight-winged centipede queen and the black crystal sky scorpion howled as they shot down into the desolate plain and toward the man's body. Jiayu, having followed Jiayu to one edge of the lake, also yelled out in shock. The evil god? Deep within the desolate plain, the body of a man clearly from another race rested in a half-crouched position. His body was around a hundred meters tall, and his skin was bluish-brown. He also had a gigantic pair of wings on his back and curved horns on his head, and his body exuded a seemingly endless evil aura. The sun-killing bow. That's the arrow god. Sen Yi cried out, eyes shining with an intense light. He was looking at an eastern barbarian with a relatively normal appearance. It was a man that, despite his mummified state, appeared to be about fifty years old. He silently sat in the middle of a ruined palace's round altar, holding a bow covered in complex patterns. As expected, Luo Chen exclaimed, his eyes growing feverish. This is the land of buried gods. The desolate plain at the bottom of the frozen lake stretched across a vast area, multiple rundown palaces protruding from its earth. The bodies of the voodoo progenitor, the evil god, and the arrow god, the ancestor of the eastern barbarians, could be seen. In addition to that, the heads of the eight god corpses were visible atop the tower, and the bodies of giants and skeletons of ancient beasts littered the area. This sight made the martial practitioners gathered around a lake become excited. They wanted to charge down immediately and gather all of these remains. Remains of the strongest existences of bygone eras were the most precious spirit materials in the world. They could be used to forge the strongest spirit artifacts, or one could directly absorb the potent power left within them. In the hands of certain people, 
particularly special remains in perfect condition could even be made into someone's second body. If blood fiend sect or black voodoo sect could obtain the remains of their respective progenitors and refine them, they would immediately become terrifyingly powerful weapons. Kin Lai. Du Ziyang Yang screamed. The excitement welling up inside of him made it difficult for him to control himself. Song Tinu, Wu Chen, Pan Kian Zi Jingxun, and Zhu Moyan were excited as well, their hearts beating wildly. Just as the rumors claimed, the land of buried gods held the remains of the strongest beings from ancient times. This realization brought intense gazes to everyone's faces. Sen Yi and the Scarlet Barbarians, as well as Yi Yihao, Huang Zilai, Feng Yu, Yu Men, and Su Yan, couldn't restrain themselves any longer. At this moment, they were already sliding down the sides of a frozen lake to the desolate plain. Wu Chen and the others looked at Qin Lai. They desperately wanted to rush down there too. Wait. Qin Lai shouted, shaking his head. Everyone stared at him in surprise. They had no idea what he was making them wait for. The demon sealing tombstone is currently searching for the remainder of the seven spirits, and the ice spirit has yet to show itself, Qin Lai said. The land of buried gods. It may have other strange elements we aren't aware of. Qin Lai's group looked down into the lake and realized that Dief, Ka Deng, and Ai, all of whom had reached the lake before everyone else, were nowhere to be seen. Even Jia Yu had disappeared without a trace. Only the demon sealing tombstone remained, floating high above the land of buried gods and absorbing power from the eyes of the eight godheads. Visible waves of energy rippled between the eyes and the tombstone as it used all of its power to search for the four remaining spirits. Something in the land of buried gods seemed to prevent the demon sealing tombstone from sensing the spirits. Over there! Lord Chan cried. Look at black voodoo cults two voodoo insects. The eight-winged centipede queen and a black crystal sky scorpion had flown to the desolate plain and now arrived at the body of the man that Yi Yihao had called the voodoo progenitor. The two voodoo insects bared their sharp mandibles and bit into the body of the voodoo progenitor. They sought to consume the power that remained inside of it. Everyone watched them attentively. Suddenly, the two voodoo insects started to struggle furiously, flapping their wings in a desperate attempt to flee. A terrifying vacuum emanated from within the voodoo progenitor, aiming to suck them into it. The eight-winged centipede queen had bitten into the chest of the progenitor, and the black crystal sky scorpion had bitten into its neck. Both insects were sucked into the voodoo progenitor from these parts of the body. Yi Hao and Huang Zilai had been descending toward the desolate plain, mad with joy and anticipation as they waited for their voodoo insects to transmit information to them. Yet, the moment the voodoo insects were sucked into the progenitor's body, extreme terror filled their eyes. The initially robust bodies of Yi Hao and Huang Zilai quickly began to wither, their soul energy and blood visibly being drained from them. In ten short seconds, their skin and flesh disappeared, reducing them to a pair of dried-out skeletons. They didn't even have the time to scream.